Time is a fickle mistress, one not understood by women of our realm either. Have you ever noticed when you're hanging out with your friends or someone you love, time flies like an arrow. But when you're in a boring work meeting or reading a book, it moves slower than a three-toed sloth. I know it's frustrating, but we can't do much about it as it would be just a waste of another time. However, spending time a mere one second to click on this subscribe button will only help you find better tech and lifestyle content and tips for the future. Go on, hit it. If you wear a watch on your wrist, you can't hold time in your hand. Sounds like the saddest truth about time, doesn't it? You know, there are some dumb intellectuals who say that time does not even exist. But every night before sleeping, they set an alarm so that they have to wake up the next morning. However, we can't argue with them as everyone's experience for time differs. Yes, it moves simultaneously for most of us. But the experience of time dimension differs for each one of us individually. Whether they are right or wrong, only time will tell. Now, it's time to take a look at 10 obscure facts you need to know about time. The most common noun. Do you know that time is the most common noun in the English language? No wonder we have been obsessed with it for ages. Even man and woman stand 7th and 14th respectively in the list of most used nouns. Shockingly, nouns like play and rest are not even in the list of top 100 most used nouns. Greatest teacher. Time is the greatest teacher in the world, but we're super busy in our lives and we often ignore it for something else. Always remember, time and experience walk along with each other. And it takes a lot of mistakes to gain your experiences. Take a chill pill and learn to enjoy the journey, but be careful while wandering. Be wise and selective. You can't be a master of something unless you've spent a considerable amount of time on it. How you spend your time and how much time you spend on something shows how much you're interested in it. Be wise and selective when you're walking into somewhere as it's going to affect you, be it clubbing or a quick gossip. This is your life and it's ending one minute at a time. They say you're the average of five people that you spend your most amount of time with. I've experienced this one personally. When you live like a lone wolf, you listen to what your mind speaks. But when you're with a bunch of friends, you end up following the majority more often than not. Keep in mind, your time is limited. Learn to spend it wisely. Tick tock fool. It takes Earth 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.091 seconds to finish the one rotation so that sun appears in the same position in the sky. Yeah, we've been fooled since many years and since our school days to be honest. You can do a lot in just those 3 minutes and 56 seconds. Ask someone who has missed his login time due to a minute long red light at the traffic signal. The role of tidal friction. At the beginning of the age of dinosaurs, about 230 million years ago, there were 370 days in a year. And the day was just 23 hours long. Over the years, the earth has slowed down due to the tidal friction from the sun and the moon. So days are getting longer by about 1.7 milliseconds per century. The measurement tools. On a regular day, we measure time with instruments such as a clock, hourglass, sundial or calendar. But do you know there are various measurement tools to measure time? Forget the rest, the smallest standard scientific measure of time is the Planck time which is equal to 10 to 44 seconds. Light, Earth and Time Light takes a significant amount of time to reach Earth. As a result, we see the Moon as it was 1.2 seconds ago and the Sun as it was 8 minutes ago because the Moon is 384,400 kilometers away from the Earth while the Sun is about 150 million kilometers away right now. The Death of Time What do you think? Will the time come to an end? Yes, according to some physicists, time will end within the next 4 billion years as the universe is on its way to expanding infinitely. Where are we now? Space and time are fluid thanks to the gravitational forces. Also, as far as physics is concerned, there is no such thing as of now. We are either living in the past or somewhere in the future. 
I think I'm living in the future and I can see you have liked, subscribed and also shared this video with everyone that you desire. For more such amazing tech, automobile and lifestyle content, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned while we bring you all of it.